Now, ain't that cool, right? This, in my opinion, is one of the top 30, 40 covers ever. I probably is never going to make anybody's list, but look at it. I mean, if you're, especially if you're like a Doctor Doom fan, um, this has got to be the best Doctor Doom cover, in my opinion. But anyway, this is my brother's favorite book. I picked up three copies of this. I'm probably going to give him the highest grade one. I've already sent a couple off. This one I'm going to send off in this batch, in this uh, submission. And, you know, and I'm going to, obviously, I'm going to keep one as well and put it on my wall just because it's so cool, but it'll go on also on his game room wall. Don't tell him. He doesn't watch this channel that I know of, so I don't feel like I'm spilling the beans. But at uh, this rate, with the way CGC is going, it might be next Christmas before he gets it. Um, we're currently, you know, this is like early 2022 so anyway so let's go ahead and take a look at this it's a definitely a high grade copy this is a very nice looking book you know got really sharp corners looked like something there but i think it was just a you know what that's still a little piece hanging from when it was printed i mean look at that it's just like a little sliver of paper hanging there i'm not i'm just going to leave that there um so the edges Really solid, nothing going on there. No dings or anything like that. Wow, this top of the spine is like as good as it gets. That is perfect. Perfect. Bottom as well. I mean, that is just a good looking spine as far as top and bottom goes. We've got a little uh, tick right here, I believe. Kind of see it. One right here as well. That's a moderate looking one, but I don't actually you know what that might break color slightly but you got to kind of get an angle to see it i don't know that's kind of that might not be a color break there that might just be part of that artwork right there you know sometimes you'll see artwork that'll have like a little hairline like right here this hairline white line or whatever like up here as well that might be the same deal there but there just happens to be a tick there maybe it's coincidence i'm gonna assume that's a little small color breaking tick though just here on the safe side got a little uh, tick here as well. The staple, I'm not sure if that's handling wear or just when the staple was punched through during the uh, production process of this book. But we'll just assume that's two negligible small um, defects there and one down here as well. I'm not seeing anything else on the front cover. Maybe tiny handling wear here. This is just a very nice book. All right, so let's flip her over. So right now I'm sitting at like 9.6 on this book. Maybe the tiniest of dings on the back of the bottom of the spine here. Okay, we I don't know about this one here. What is this? I think that is probably a ding right there. Like a little tiny bump crease. Now that's going to hurt us a lot there. That right there... My cap is at 9.6, if everything else is perfect. Yeah, that's a little color break on that black. Now, this is a kind of almost a miscut book, you can see. So I don't know if that would hurt us less, because that's not even supposed to hardly be showing, because that's that black is supposed to be maybe below the fold there. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely counting that as like a minor to slightly moderate uh, defect right there. But let's keep going. Luckily, that's on the back, though, and at least it won't show after it's slabbed. These corners look good. A little bit of handling wearing bumps there on the top. Maybe a slight little bend here on the top. Everything else looks pressable on this back cover, from what I can see. There's a little thumb handling wear right there. Maybe the most minute little spine roll starting, like this book was on top of other books for a long time. But that's pressable as well. White pages, for sure. Good story in this book, as well as we just talked about that in number nine in the last uh, episode of this. Uh, this has a very good story, as well as just having a great cover as well. Something about these yellows and reds, it's just and the way this was drawn, this is just phenomenal artwork in my opinion. So yeah. Well, obviously, Mike Zeck is the penciler, <laughs> so that kind of is a reason it's so good. It's just, he's a phenomenal artist, right? 
So yeah, I'm going to go with 9.4 right now. I think it's hard to give less than that, even with that moderate-ish flaw on the bag. But I really think that's going to cap us at 9.6. So I'm going to just call this 9.4, 9.6 after press. I think there's like a 30% chance it just stays at 9.4. I think there's like a 10% chance it goes to 9.2. If they overvalue, or I don't know what the right wording is, or they think that defects is bad enough, you know, that it warrants. You can't get above 9.2. Um, but yeah, it's still going to look great on a wall of 9.0 to 9.8. Who cares, right? It's going to look awesome and, uh, looking forward to getting this one back. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next one.